Hello everyone, this is Charles from Charles Photo Place. Today I will be showing you how to use a timer remote for a modern digital SLR camera. These can be bought off eBay or other online shops for between $15 and $20. They are a generic timer remote and can be used on most digital SLRs, be it a Canon, Nikon or a Sony, Pentax. You just have to make sure that you buy the one suitable for your camera. Most of them come with a separate little attachment you can see here that plugs into the the camera. This one is for my Nikon camera so it would only suit my camera. Now these do not have an on, on and off button if you don't want to use it for a while you take the two AAA batteries out of the back here. To turn it on you just press the lock button on the side here. You press the lock button and the timer turns on. Now there are many modes to this timer. Just above the top numbers here you will see a little dash. This shows you which mode you are in. The one to the furthest to the left is a delay. The next one is the timer. After that is the interval. Then the number of shots that you want to take. And lastly whether you want a sound or mute while the timer is working. So if we go back to the delay, the delay is for use if you want the timer to count down before it actually takes the shot. For example, if you want a two minute delay to give you time to get into the photo, if you're taking it with a group of friends, you would use the delay. The timer is specifically that how long you want the shutter to stay open for. The next one is the interval. The interval is between each shot. If we wanted the camera to take, for example, four shots but five minutes apart, we would set the interval here for five minutes. For the number of shots, it's normally just one shot, but if you are using an interval of, say, five minutes, you want, might want to take ten photos at five minutes apart, you would set the count for ten. Or if you're doing a time lapse, you might set it at 100, it would take 100 shots. So we will go back to just the timer because this is what I want to use. You can see the line is above the uh, long which means the exposure. I press the set button and now the timer is blinking. To the left is hours, in the middle is minutes, so if we wanted a two minute timer exposure we would press two minutes. For this example I won't put it to two minutes, I'll leave it minutes to zero. I come over to seconds and let's say I just want 10 seconds, I set it to 10. I'm happy at 10, I press set. I do not want an interval and I only want one shot. I'm happy with all that. I come back to my 10 seconds now to start the timer I just press the timer start stop button. Press it. You can see that the timer is actually started. That's it. It has just taken a 10 second exposure. Now you didn't hear the camera go off because I'm actually using my camera to record this video. These timers can also be used as a straight remote with the button down here that you just press it and it will just work as if you are pressing the shutter release button on your camera. Now to take a photo you have to make sure that your camera is set to bulb on the shutter speed. The timer is now plugged into the camera. I now just press the start stop button up here. Here it's beeping away. There you go. It has now taken a 10 second exposure of what I wanted. 
Now you would normally use at least a one minute exposure because up to 30 seconds your camera will be able to do it for you.